Welcome everybody back to Boost Emotion, guys. And today, I want to give you guys my honest opinion about this new Mercedes C43 and pretty much how a lot of cars from UK and EU are now going to be hybrids. So you already know what to do. Let's hit that intro. Welcome everybody back to Boost Emotion, guys. Good morning, good afternoon, and good night. Thank you. Welcome everybody back. Welcome everybody back to the channel. I am Boost Emotion. And if you are a subscriber to this channel, guys, you already know what to do. Please hit that like button. And if you are new to this channel, please watch this video. And if you enjoy this video and other videos, you already know what to do. Subscribe and hit the old bell. All okay. Anyways, let's go. Let's jump into it. So for my Boost Emotion family, I know we like our infinities, right? But we need to pay attention to what's going on in the world, right? And more and more we see more cars are. It, it are implementing some kind of hybrid technology, right? And for the short answer is this, overseas, EU, UK, they have more stricter emissions. So this is the direction that they're going. And now we know the fuel crunch, the petrol crunch, the gasoline crunch, right? Prices are going up. There's not an infinite amount. So we have to find ways to get more uh, mileage for the amount of gas we use. So we have to look into other ways. So Mercedes did something recently, and majority of cars are now going to have an electric assist, um, electric assist um, system. This system really pretty much powers like uh, AC compressor, alternator. It's a small generator battery pack that's just used for some of those accessories. The car isn't a full hybrid. <clears throat> From what I remember, some of these cars won't be full hybrid, but they will use this hybrid assisted system. But we're, we're car guys over here, and we care about performance. And there's some technology in this uh, Mercedes C43, which is super dope. For anyone that doesn't know, the old C43 used to be a six-cylinder um, twin-turbo all-wheel drive car, right? But, you know, our Infinities are better. I'm sorry. But, you know, the big dog is the B58-340s, and sorry, Audi guys, but we really ain't banging with the S4s like that. Cool. Well... What they choose to do is downsize from the six-cylinder twin turbo now down to, guess what, a four-cylinder single turbo. Some of you guys hate that because you bang with the Mercedes gang. You already kind of bang with the six-cylinder gang. But now it made it four-cylinder turbo. To me, I don't really feel anything against it because to me, when you got a big dog V8, it's a big difference. Now, I already made a video talking about the C63 getting downgraded to a four-cylinder turbo, too. So they're going to have very similar powertrain systems. But let's keep from the C43 here. What I do like about the technology is this. So what they will be using for their um, system is an elect, uh, it's the world's first series production engine to feature an electronic exhaust gas turbocharger. Remember, I made a video talking about the Infiniti Q60 Black S that was supposed to come out, and it was going to be one of the first companies, I mean, companies, engines to use this in mass production, but they didn't. See, Infiniti always linked to the game. So this is going to be a full cylinder that's pretty much electric assist. The reason why you guys really care about this is because you don't have to wait for those exhaust gases to spool the turbo. You can just use electricity to spool the turbo up, and then the exhaust gases can catch it at the higher end. This is super dope. This means instant power. But at the end of the day, this isn't a system that's the, the, uh, designed to make a huge amount of power. But at about what? How much power does this thing make? About 400 and something horsepower? It's right here, guys. Just bear with me. Right, nine speed automatic transmission. Anyone knows what an MCT is? That's a multi clutch transmission. It just doesn't use a torque converter. It's pretty much just a bunch of multi clutches which post replicate the torque converter. And it's actually a way better system. And I like the driving feel regardless. So this car is going to be about 400 horsepower and 369 pounds of torque and the 13 horsepower from electric starter generator. 
That electric starter generator is, is not there for additional performance. I don't want you guys sitting there thinking it for that. It is just for accessories. Auto on start, stop and start. Um, as I said, alternator and or um, AC compressor or any other accessories, but not for the performance of the engine, just for the performance of the turbo. Now, this car looks good. I actually like how it looks. I think they update this pretty much took the C class and just play with the front a little bit more, play with the rear end, and they give it that look. They kept the C63 front bumper look because it's more people are more used to it. And honestly, Mercedes people, they really like when their cars look like an ain't full type of AMG, even though it's a C43 AMG. Um <clears throat> interior doesn't look that much more up to date. But that center console is beautiful. Take a look. If you guys want to look, this is the wheels. I don't even know what that extra stuff is around the wheels. I have no idea. But that's just plug-in. I don't know what that is. Um, but look at this engine bay. Look how easy and ex ex easy it is to get to that turbocharger in that engine bay. You can touch that whole thing. Take off that strut bar and throw in your own turbo. The reason why I also like this from a performance point of view is um, this thing could be modified. Even though it's electric assist, we'll find a way to modify it. Car tuners will find a way. You can take this turbo out. You can port the turbo. You can go with larger turbines. Um, and it's right there. Everything is right there accessible. So I'm excited to see on a performance end where this can go because I highly doubt that they went with a max effort turbo already. And just looking at the photo and size of this turbo, this isn't a small turbo. This is definitely not a small little BS turbo. This car already makes 400 horsepower. And when it comes to tuning, these guys are going to figure it out. These guys are definitely going to freaking figure this out. So I can't wait to see what this car does, especially what I believe now with these four point or four cylinder uh, AMG motors. From what I believe from a reading, they're now going to be hand built. So they're actually proper AMG motors. It's not like the older some of the other AMG motors that was typically just made in fan, like the old C43, which is regular motors made in a factory. Um, but the C63 motors were always hand built. So from what I remember reading, these four cylinder um, for C43 and C63 motors are going to be hand built. So this is technically going to be a true hand AMG car. It's just that the C63 is going to have the better electronic. Um, generated which will actually be a performance oriented which is supposed to be like 600 and something horse like was it 670 horsepower 640 but that's really because i would assume they probably use a different turbo with a different turbo mapping and a electric generator that has way more voltage to, to deliver but all in all i i like where this is going i think if you guys want to keep on the idea how i feel about it i am okay with the c43 Looking this way, coming this way. I think this is good for their platform. And it, it's the best way for, for it to differentiate itself from the C300. I think it's a perfect point. But compared to the C63, I think the C63 is lacking because they got rid of V8. And now we're going to go to a full cylinder just with, I assume, a better turbo and better um, electronic generator. Mm, in that case... We got to wait and see what the numbers are. We see this car is doing like 4.5, uh, 4 0 to 60. And we know that that other C63 is going to be way up there. But we got to wait and see what the differentiation is. If Mercedes tries to cost cut and pretty much give you guys the same AMG motor across the field, but just a better turbo and a, be and a better electric electronic generator, I would not see the sense of really doing that, knowing that the engine is still the same. You could just literally just swap out to a better uh electronic turbo and just freaking send it i mean at the end of the day you know at the end of the day it's gonna really just take that power because if this car is making 400 horsepower right the c63 is only making like i think from what i remember without the electronic assist only 470 so you're telling me that i possibly could do a jb4 or a tune on the c43 and make c63 power if i mean before the electronic assist but just you just kind of understand, guys. You guys will understand what I'm saying. You know, you're like, that was really the difference, you know? But anyways, guys, tell me what you think. Comment below if you really like this. I'm probably going to drop another video talking about the B58 
because yes, the 340 B58 BMW is also going electronic assist. So hit the subscribe button with the bell notification. Hit all if you want to hear me talk about that. But otherwise, than that guys, you already know what to do. Thank you for always banging with your boy Boost. I really appreciate you guys. So you guys have a good morning, good afternoon, good night. Thank you guys. I appreciate it. You guys have a good day. Thank you. I'm checking out. Let's hit that intro. Oh, not intro, outro. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for watching. Do appreciate you guys. Love you guys very much. You can also check out the two links I posted for some of my other videos. Also, on top of that, if you want to purchase some Boost Emotion merch, definitely check the link that I posted also. And finally, if you've been watching all my videos and you enjoy them, please hit the link for to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.